and welcome. My name is Calliope, and I am going to be doing your Royce massage treatment today. How are you doing today? Okay. I hope by the time you leave this Royce massage, you feel even just the littlest bit better. So what do you know about Royce massage? Not too much. Okay. Well, if you would like, I'd love to tell you a little bit of background about it. Wonderful. So, Breuss Massage is named after its founder, who is an Austrian healer by the name of Rudolf Breuss. Now, the history is a little hit or miss, but it is said to have been developed in the 1970s, and its purpose was to address the degeneration of the spine, to promote the healing of the spine. Now, think of your spine like a sponge, right? When a sponge is full of water, full of fluid, it is soft, it is flexible, it's spongy. But if that sponge is squeezed, if it's wrung out, if it's left on the side of the sink, then over time it becomes brittle and hard and inflexible. So think of your spine in that sort of way. When we go to bed at night, your spine doesn't have to do any special work, doesn't have any stress on it. So it starts to soak up any of those fluids that keep it flexible. And when we wake up and go through our day, we put a lot of stress on the spine. We're wringing it, we're squeezing it, and we start to lose some of that fluid. And over time, if this isn't addressed, then we can have problems with those discs, with the bones, the structure of the spine. So this therapy uses very, very, very gentle massage strokes. There is not supposed to be any pain whatsoever, completely pain-free. And it uses St. John's wort oil in order to lubricate the spine. Now, Breuss massage can be used as a complement to a type of therapy known as Dorn Method Therapy, which was developed in Germany. And what it does when we use them together is that if you use it before, then it relaxes the spine so that with the Dorn method, it can be realigned with ease. The Dorn method consists of both manual therapy and self-help exercises. So when you combine them, then you are promoting the greatest possible health to your spine. Now, it can also be used as a standalone method, as can the Dorn method but their efficacy works much better if they're used together. Today, we are going to be doing the Royce Massage. So, I am going to have you lay down on your stomach, and I am going to be grabbing a little pillow and putting it underneath your feet so that your back is supported. For the purpose of this massage, I will need to be touching you, however, it will really only be the back. So I'll have the whole spine exposed and we'll be working primarily on the spine. Do I have your permission to touch you for the purposes of this massage? Beautiful. Thank you very much. 
Now I'm going to give you a moment to get settled in and then we can begin with the massage. Excellent. Are you comfortable being positioned like this? Okay. And what about the temperature of the room? How is that? Do let me know if at any point there is anything I can do to make you more comfortable. I'm going to be placing our pillow underneath your feet. And how is that? Are there any places of pain or tension with that under your feet? We're going to start by using just a little bit of St. John's Wort Oil. And I'm just going to warm it up between my hands. For most of the massage, I am going to be staying on the right side when we work on the energy healing and magnetizing, I will be switching sides but until then, I'm going to be right here and I'm going to start by just stroking down the tailbone and sacrum area using my right hand hand on top with just this little bit of oil we can get a good grip while not sticking anywhere and after five strokes We can start moving little by little up the spine and stroke down the spine to the tailbone. Each stroke beginning a little higher then the last. As the pincer grip. I'm going to use both hands and very slowly stretching the spine by stroking each hand in the opposite direction with just a little bit of pressure. One hand goes down the spine, one hand goes up, very gently starting the stretching. 
if at any point you feel any pain whatsoever, do let me know. This massage is meant to have no pain whatsoever. And after a few strokes, I'm going to be starting more towards the lower back. stretch, focusing on all parts of the spine, not just the middle. And this is where we are really able to nourish the spine and the discs between each vertebra. start again with our two-handed stroking, focusing first on the sacrum, extra slow. rolling in. Gently stroking down the spine. And then we start just a little higher. big S curve in the middle of the upper back and a little higher and a pincer grip two hands. How is this so far? And 
How's the pressure? Good. You want to be above all things very gentle. We generally do. About ten passes of each stroke. But one can do more as well. the space between each vertebra to become just a little bit more wider so that the oil can sink down and lubricate the discs and then the upper part One hand holds while the other stretches down. Holds for a moment to really seal in that stretch. We are going to do a couple types of alignment strokes. And the first one is going to be somewhat similar to the first stroke in that I'm going to be using one hand going down the spine, but I'm going to use the side of my hand to apply pressure to my fingertips to deepen that little bit of pressure. We're going to start in the mid-back and then work a little higher each stroke. So my index and middle fingers are going to be the ones that are primarily putting pressure along with the side of my hand. And I'm just going to work. Almost just letting the force of my body pull me down as opposed to exerting force. Just allowing my weight to settle to one side so that it can glide down the spine ever so slowly. And we can start a little higher on the spine.
stroke, I'm just going to place my hands at the hips here, and we're going to go around the hips and up the back with a light pressure. Reach the neck, and then I'm going to come down either side of the spine with the pressure primarily in my middle fingers, keeping my fingers close together, go all the way down the spine, starting from the hips, out, up, up to the neck, Pressure in the middle fingers, come down the spine. Hips, round, up with a light touch. Flexibility just by having patience and a gentle touch up the back to the neck, down the spine, down the spine, slow, slow pressure. can feel all the little micro muscles of your back loosen up. It's not nearly as tight as it was when we started. We're going to do a special little step that I imagine you haven't seen in massage before. I'm going to start by getting some more oil. Deliberately apply this to the spine.
going to put a piece of silk paper on top. silk paper sticks to the oil I'm going to give it a moment to soak up the oil does is it helps store and insulate the energy that we've been mixing up. And I'm going to be alternating strokes and if you were watching me, it would almost look like swimming strokes. It's done one hand down. and the other. I'm going to be placing this towel on top of the silk paper and then we're going to be working with your energy. switching sides now and then we're going to magnetize your energy. Now I'm going to be placing my hands in specific positions on your back. The first position is I'm going to be putting my hands on that first big S curve in the upper back, making sure my hands are not touching at all. And I'm going to be holding this position and infusing you with energy. Now this may seem similar to other energy healing modalities. For example, Reiki is a pretty popular one that it could be seen akin to. Working with something with a very similar definition. We're using universal energy 
divine light or love, however you wish to define it. And I'm working as a conduit to infuse you and your spine with this healing energy. You may feel the gentle pressure of my hands on your back. You might feel the warmth amplified by the oil, the silk paper, and the towel from my hands. You may feel a little bit of tingling down the spine as the energy works. going to move up and place my hands on the upper back. There are four important positions. And this can help Feed the healing and prolong the healing, the restoration of your spine, its mobility, its flexibility. Just listen to the little drops of rain, the low roll of thunder. I'm going to be placing my hands now on the neck without touching. Just infusing healing energy here. Keeping one hand at the neck, I'm going to put one hand at the base of your spine, positioned vertically as opposed to horizontally, and infuse your body with healing energy. wipe the aura. I'm going to use both hands to stroke all the way down your body. A very light touch.
three strokes off the aura. Gliding my hands down the same way. Just off the body. I'm going to zip up the energy starting from the tailbone, working up the spine, over the neck, the head, crown, to the forehead, and the third eye. like to thank you so very much for joining me for this practice. Now, we are going to be removing the towel, the paper, and we're going to clean you up a little bit. excess oil. One last stroke down the tailbone. Now, you can stay here as long as you need. Take a few moments to come back to your environment. And this room is not going to be used for the rest of the evening. So whenever you are ready, you're more than welcome to get up and return to the rest of your day. Is there anything else I can do at all? Okay, very good. Again, thank you so very much for joining me for this practice. I hope you have a whale of a day and a good rest of your night. Thank you. Goodbye now. I just sort of happened upon Bryce Massage. I was researching a different, but obviously somewhat related pseudoscience, and I found the website for the Dorn Method, which was developed in southern Germany, and it had an entry on this kind of massage, and it doesn't really seem to be known in the English-speaking world, or at least in the U.S., because most of the resources were in German. And luckily, I am, I think, at about 150 days, so that's five-ish months of learning German, so I actually understood about 10% of it, which helped out a lot. So, good on Clay B five months ago for learning German. But the founder, Rudolf Breuss, he apparently, well, 
Well, first he was born in 1899, so that kind of shapes this particular bit, but he believed that one could get rid of cancer by going on a juice cleanse, basically. So, not exactly the brightest dude, scientifically, but this massage, while it, again, doesn't make sense scientifically, you can't just put a bunch of flower oil on the back and lubricate the spinal discs, but it does make for an extremely relaxing massage. So, shout out to uh, Rudolph Preuss for that, and I was given so much information, it was really, it was really a wonderful time researching, because between the videos and the written guide, there was no room for interpretation. It was wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Thank you for watching this video.